When connecting to a Nexia system, it's important to be aware of how many network interface cards our computer has and which of those network interface cards is being used by Nexia. To configure the network interface cards, we need to go to Tools, Options, and select the Network tab. At the bottom of this window is a listing of the current network interface card and the IP address for that card. If we only have one card, it will appear automatically in this list. If we have more than one, we need to go to Select NIC, and we'll have a listing of all of our options. In this case, the first line is my wireless adapter, the second line is my wired adapter, and the third line is my VPN adapter. I know that the Nexia devices are connected to the wired network interface card on my computer, so I select it, hit OK. It appears in the list and becomes the default network adapter for Nexia. Once we have our default network adapter selected, we can connect to the network. And we'll see at the bottom of the screen a progress meter. When Nexia connects to the network, the first thing it does is send out a UDP broadcast message to discover devices. Every device that receives that message replies back, indicating the name, the system ID, the IP address, all the information that appears on the System Connect window. This process, with a large system, can be somewhat slow, or in certain cases, the UDP packets might be blocked on the network. If that happens, it can become useful to use TCP packets instead. Again, if we go to Tools, Options, the Network tab, we'll see we have a choice between UDP and TCP packets. UDP packets go everywhere in the network, but they're much more susceptible to network interruption and being blocked. A TCP packet goes only to the device that it's been addressed to. If we're going to use TCP packets, that means we have to tell Nexia what the IP addresses are of the devices we're trying to find. If we click on Edit Device List and hit the Add button, we can tell Nexia how to find those devices. My subnet address in this case is 192.168.1. That's the first portion of the IP address, just the subnet. When I hit enter, you'll see it converted to 192.168.001. To identify the last part of the address, I have to hit the Edit Nodes button and then tell Nexia where to find those devices. I hit OK hit OK again, hit OK a third time, and this time when I connect to the network, it's much quicker. Nexia already knows where to find those devices. Rather than sending out a UDP packet and waiting for replies, it's able to directly query those two devices almost immediately. When creating your device list, you may not place every device on the list. In this case, I have devices at 101 and 102 on my network. If I leave the 102 device off the list, when I connect, I'm only going to see the 101 device. This can be very useful in facilities where you have multiple rooms and multiple devices. If I'm working in boardroom 101, I only want to see the device or devices in this room. I don't want to see the devices for every one of my other 37 boardrooms. By leaving them off the list, I don't have to wait for them all to respond to the UDP message when I first launch Nexia. The Tools, Options, Network tab is a location where you can tweak many of the settings for your network connection. 